Hey everyone, it's Overlord73 from GameAnyone.com and we're playing Infinity Blade on the iPad. Um, let's just carry on with this. So there's only one way to go now that we haven't done and that's up on this lift. And this will take us to the final area. That helm is absolutely awesome. Cupid's going to shoot him with his bow, and they're all going to love me. So now we find ourselves back at the start of the game. Let's have a look at this guy's stats. The Dark Knight, level 8. Let's see what we can find. There's some gold. I'm sure you won't mind if we just take that. Before we take his life, hopefully. Alright, let's go. A bit more of a challenge now. Huge hit, huge combo. You die, you bitch. It's Terry and Ewan. We have victory. I think most of the equipments we've got is already upgraded. Apart from the helmet thing. Right, on to one on attack and one on health. Inventory. I haven't got 9,000 gold, so that will have to do. Let's open this chest first of all, I'm sure you won't mind. Oathborn. That looks nice. It's a shame I can't equip it now, I don't think. Or can I? Can I do it from the menu? Character inventory. Yes, we can. Oathborn plus 10 damage XP gain. That's a nice bit of equipment. And we can upgrade it as well. Awesome. Right, now unfortunately this is where we die because the final boss is absolutely godlike. That's why he's called the God, God King and he is level 50. He'll hit us about twice and we will be dead. Um, but let's um, 
have a battle with him best we can anyway I'll use the the magic and everything as well on this guy so if we can do a slight bit of damage and then I'll explain everything afterwards As you see the magic and everything and we hardly do any damage at all. We just try and dodge his attacks the best we can but he's just so fast and he just basically annihilates us. So basically what happens now is we go straight back to the beginning of the game again, how it all began, and it goes in a constant cycle. Because now we have 23 three years later, and guess what, it's our son come to, um, come to show his re revenge. Now the good thing about the game is any weapons, armour or anything else that you've collected during the previous playthrough, you keep this time. Um, yeah, so as you can see there, now it says start bloodline 2, whereas basically we have to play through the whole game again with pretty much the same enemies, but they're all slightly harder to beat because they've all leveled up just the same as what we have. Um, and it's like I say it's just basically basically a constant cycle until eventually we get to a level where we may actually stand a chance in defeating him um, I'm obviously not going to keep playing through it again but I just wanted to share everybody uh, the gaming experience with everybody on this because I think it is a damn fine game so if you you do have a iDevice, iPhone, iPad, iPod I think it will run on any of those it's well worth going out and getting um, so anyway that's Infinity Blade. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll catch you all again soon.